Hey everyone, it's Jim here from Elliot, and today we have a very interesting video for you on unknown gears. And what you see pictured here in our video is a Duramax with a rotary table. Uh, the rotary table is an additional accessory that you can apply to newer Duramax machines, or you can order with a brand new one. And uh, you can see in the bottom right window, we are preparing the rotary table for our inspection. And in the top left window, we are doing the manual alignment for the gear. Kind of mix these two up here so that we can save a little bit of time and get right to the really interesting stuff. Uh, this is a gear that I have in our training room that I use for Gear Pro training and decided to reverse engineer it today to show everybody how this process works. The reverse engineering process is in uh, a new tool that is included in the uh, 2019 version of the Advanced Involute. And you can see there's the advanced license. And we are able to use this process to measure an unknown gear. Let's take a look at this process right now. So we'll give our gear a name. And then inside of the configuration window, we can set whether it is a helical gear or a straight gear, set for an unknown, and enter the number of teeth. You do have to count that yourself. That's the only thing you really have to do. And then we can start the unknown gear process. What you've got to do is measure points on the flanks. Uh, and you start with the left and right flanks of a single tooth, uh, starting down inside by the root out to the tip. And you sort of measure a plane on the involute. Of course, the involute is not a planar shape, but you do measure the points in that way. You're going to do both teeth, and that's going to give it a basic general disposition uh, between the two sides of, of, a, of a tooth. Once you've measured the tooth shape itself, the next stage is going to be measuring the the tip area, so this is the points on the outside of the tooth, so sort of a maximum diameter position. And then we're going to measure a couple points at the root, and that will give the depth of the tooth. And this very basic amount of information is sort of like an alignment on that individual tooth. The alignment, the base alignment from Calypso has the center. And then we uh, go ahead and run that and it will automatically go and measure that tooth in a CNC way, taking multiple points. Uh, and from that, it will develop a basic involute uh, curve and be able to calculate the shape of the gear tooth. Takes a second to align. Uh, it uses the rotary table to balance out the alignment. And then it will start to collect those points on the teeth. This process can be done with a straight gear like we're using in this example. You can also measure unknown helical gears. And that definitely requires a rotary table. You can measure straight gears with or without a rotary table, but I thought it would be more interesting to show the rotary capability of the Duramax. The, the new Contura Gen 5 Conturas can also be equipped with a rotary table. And of course, Prismo, Centermax, GageMax, and Acura can also be equipped with rotary tables. So you can do this sort of work on any of those machines. But the Duramax is our entry level machine with a rotary table. And it's a great little rotary. It has a, a built-in uh, removable chuck that you can pick up mount your part, sit it back on with a relocatable uh, little uh, seating so it's nice and repeatable. Now, what we're going to see is uh, the tooth is now finished and we'll take a look at the data and that will give us an idea of what's going on. Now, there is a little bit of a graphical flaw here, but there's your data for the tooth, the module value and so on. But when we render the CAD data properly, you can see this does look like a proper gear. 
and those are all the values that are calculated. The CAD model is generated. You can save that CAD model out, but typically what we'll do here, and I know it's a little bit obscure, but we do now run the gear measurement again, except in this case, it's not measuring just one tooth. It's going to distribute around uh, to a number of teeth. You can even configure this to all teeth on the gear, and it will measure every single tooth. That is a very exhaustive and time-consuming process. Usually we distribute over several teeth, and it will measure both the profile, which is the shape of the tooth, and the lead, uh, which is the shape along the length of the tooth, in order to derive the overall values uh, for this measurement. And it will use that as an iteration to build a better set of values for that gear. Now, of course, this unknown gear process doesn't know anything about what's going on outside of the tooth. It's not measuring into the bottom radius. Uh, if you have a clearance or a fillet radius at the bottom of the tooth, if you've got some crowning on the tooth, it's not measuring that component. It is really just finding the unknown involute shape of the tooth itself. And from that, you could, uh, if you are a gear manufacturer, you could uh, take an unknown gear like this one and you could create a, a new gear that you could then machine or, or cut in whatever way in your shop to make a repair or to make uh, a new gear. Someone has made a gear uh, by hand. This is one of those tools for that process. The measurement of uh, gears in Calypso uh, itself is something that uh, would be very, very challenging to do. But Gear Pro is a software that is designed to work with Calypso. It uses Calypso's base alignment, which you can see in the bottom left corner has our gear base alignment there. And it allows uh, Calypso to share that data with Gear Pro. And then Gear Pro actually is driving the CMM right now. And collecting all of this data. Of course, Gear Pro can be used for gear analysis, which we've seen on previous videos, but the ability to create an unknown gear, a completely reverse engineered gear, is a very new process. It requires the advanced uh, the advanced license for Gear Pro uh, for the involutes. Uh, so this is not something that comes with the basic Gear Pro, but it is definitely available for the advanced license. If you are using an older version of Gear Pro, uh, you may have tried to do unknown gears before. It is sort of a manual process, but the Clipso 2019 and Gear Pro 2019 version that we see here, uh, this unknown package is a new tool that you can use that will automate that process that was previously very painstaking to achieve. We've used this unknown gear process uh, several times with uh, gear manufacturing customers to great success. And it is not a really complicated process to go through. Uh, it is just a little bit time consuming to do this measurement. If you are interested in gear manufacturing, or you have Gear Pro and you would like to upgrade to this version, you can contact us at elliotmachinery.com, or you can contact your Elliot representative, or if you're outside of Canada, you can go to zeiss.com and make an inquiry directly on the website, and someone from Carl Zeiss will contact you to help you learn about gear inspection and gear reverse engineering, just like you see here in this video. We also provide Gear Pro training, uh, both in-house and on site for this type of work. So if you are in need of that, you can contact us and we'll help you with that as well. Once this reiteration is done, you can perform it several times and this will allow you to build uh, a greater stability for your gear calculation. And this video is really only showing the initial uh, first CNC iteration. I did actually measure this gear a few times uh, just to try to see how far down I could refine it. 
But what I found was that uh, most of the values, including the module uh, and pressure angle, were repeating essentially exactly to three decimal places. So it was a very stable process that I was able to repeat. So thank you for watching today. I hope that you will contact us for more information and you will like and subscribe to our channel.